need lipstick. Have you been, no? Hmm, where have you been? When I, am I on your YouTube community? Your people. A bit of encouragement again. Hola beautiful people, it's Nono here. Hey, 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 hey. Yo, please don't kill me. <laughs> please don't kill me, guys. I know I've been gone for a month, but even though I have been posting, not really, I posted only one video this March. I've been through the trenches. Um, yeah. I've been gone. Um, being happy, being happy, and I haven't been filming, but let's get into it. So I've got my my notepad here, all the things that has been going on. Some of the other things are also on my diary. I like to journal as well. But yeah, first things first, I would like to send out my apologies to my subbies, my regular, regular subscribers. I am sorry that I have been gone. And you know guys, I used to post twice a week which was my Sunday and Wednesday but I didn't post let's wait for that to pass good so I have been filming not filming I've been posting my content on Sunday and Wednesday but these past couple of weeks but for me a month I haven't been shooting any content um, so yeah, I just wanted to apologize about that part and I'm sorry that I haven't been consistent and I know I said in the beginning of the year I wanted to be consistent but we're not gonna um, beat ourselves up because life has also been beating me up hence I am doing this live update um so yeah guys what has been hap what's been going on why haven't i been posting um i would say guys for the first couple of few weeks i did have content in march in sorry we're in march now in february i did have a bit of content that i had um as you guys know i batch um film so Content would be behind, but I mean, up forward with my content, like I'm shooting stuff and posting them later. So, like, let's say, for example, today I'd like film two videos or three videos, so that will normally be for like, let's say, if I'm filming a video right now, which are going to be three, the sit downs, which the sit downs are going to be for Wednesday. I'm sorted so if I like film three videos that would be for this week the other week third week and then on Sundays I like to do my, um, my vlogs so those would be like your day-to-day -day vlog sometimes it'd be a weekly vlog so yeah that's how my content is but Right now, I haven't been filming anything. I don't even have a vlog because I've been going through the most mentally, um, health-wise as well. Um, yeah, so first thing first that I'm going to get into it. Like I said, my mental health. Um, I've been going through the most with my mental health if you know me on this channel I have been speaking about mental health for a long time on my channel I might not speak about it that much but I do like 
dive on it because I'm struggling with it. So, um, in March, um, I sort of went into a sinkhole, sinkhole into myself. Um, I was self isolating. Um, I wanted to be on my own. So, um, and also I was losing a lot of fatigue. Um, I was not able to like be my normal uh, vibrant who always speaks her mind, who's always laughing. If you know me, I like to laugh. And I'm a loud talker. People who know me, I'm loud. But I tend to be seen on the outside like she's a shy person, she's quiet. But once you get to know me, you would find out to see I'm actually loud, but I'm also reserved at the same time. But yeah, so yeah, I've been not okay. I'm still not okay. Um, the good thing is I haven't been taking my meds. Um, normally, if I do have those sort of episodes and stuff um i take my camile it's calmate <laughs> it's calmate um yeah it's calmate and then there's also the pink ones but there's also this one the pink one i'm out of it which is these i hope you can see them clearly but there you go. these so i take one of those those are the sleeping tablets that I take, but thank God I didn't take them um, because they tend to have a bit of some side effects because I tend to zone out a lot and um, with my anxiety, people would like, hey, are you okay? And then I'll be like, no, I'm good, what's wrong? And then they'll say, I asked you a question and then you just zoomed out. Or I would have um I'll have jitters. Do they call them jitters? I wouldn't some people say it's ticks. Um I would have those. Um and it's not nice. So with me I didn't know what I have on my ticks until I saw on um I think it was TikTok and also they were talking about it on um, Instagram and stuff and with me once I feel a bit down or once my anxiety starts to kick in I tend to have a ma it's always just like um, I don't know what to call it but I would like all the time and I remember I had one episode when I was driving and I drove home and then I parked the car I stayed in the car for an hour and then once I got out of the car my I think it was my mom she asked me which how I'm chasing once cutting and I was like no, Chase is normally the time that I normally leave work. And then she was like, but it's kind of like an hour late. Why? But yeah. So I just don't want to dive into this too much. But yeah, that happened to me. And it hasn't happened for a while. It's just that my anxiety levels have been up. They've been creeping up on me. And... Um, yeah, I've been taking I'm a calmate, um, but I've been taking the sleeping tablets ones though, not the regular ones. If you having some anxiety moments, we would like take them, but yeah, that's been happening. And then another thing also that's been happening which has been scary and I'm still in 
I'm still in it. Um, one sec. <sighs> yeah, and the other thing that I've been going through it that I've known about um, it's just that I haven't been um, I thought see, I passed it but I guess it came up again um, I was diagnosed, diagnosed with endometriosis which is a female problem uh female um um disease or something if I'm, yeah they said it's a disease right um yeah it's sort of like a family um fibroids and um when i found out that i have it um I was sort of shocked um, about the diagnosis. Um, I didn't have a clue about what was endometriosis. I had, I was struggling <laughs> to pronounce the word to say endometriosis. Um, yeah, when that when I went to go and visit that male doctor. <laughs> the things that he was doing not bad stuff guys um so okay let me start from where it be where i found it my first time finding out who i have ee -E endometriosis um it was back in 2000 2000 <laughs> it was back in 2022 um i was back in cape town um i remember it was i think it was a week before my birth no it was not a week before my birthday i think it was yeah it was the week where i was coming to come and pick up my car and that whole situation that week in jay of picking up my car um i've been in that year i've been like working out as some people know on instagram um i was a gym addict when i was in cape town um so yeah um i've been i was having back problems and i was like no it's maybe because i was working out too hard at the gym um i know i used to love doing ama weights and I thought maybe I know that's a problem of um, lifting weights and I had no clue um, I kept uh, working out working out doing the normal things and stuff and then there was this one week where I was like nah 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 my back is killing me like crazy and I remember I told my colleague about it and then um, he was like, uh, no, you need to go to the doctor and go check to what's going on. And yeah, I got a shock of my life. The reason why I'm saying I got a shock of my life um, is in Cape Town, um, there's not a lot of um, like public hospitals that you can go through, go to that are really close. You're going to have to like google a lot of them there i know there was one that i went to um it was close to a let me not slender let me not slender cape town because i was in ub i didn't know a lot of things so with me i was struggling to get i'm a public hospitals so i had to like navigate my way around cape town 
so I had to like ask my colleagues and stuff and there were some certain things that I didn't want to like impose on them for them to help me out in finding these public hospitals or and stuff um, I remember I had to like Google Google is your best friend <laughs> so with me I had to like Google and stuff um, where's the nearest um, hospital that I can go to because I remember at that time I was living in an area called Table View so I had to like Google for closest hospital that I can go to a public hospital because I did not have the finances I don't have e medical aid so I had to source out obviously for a public hospital so the public hospital that I got was Etanun so and then also my colleague told me about Etanun so I remember I went there to ask them for help because I've been having back problems because I remember those when I had that pain that sharp pain it was behind my it was a, a back pain on my lower back and then I also had some problems with my abdomen area and I was like hey, man, I know abdomen area when I'm gymming it's because I was doing ama sit up and stuff but these ones are not going away why and then I remember I went it done sorry busy trying to re remember all the stuff that I did so some parts I'm going to be like going back and forward back and forward back and forth but hmm, I'll never forget that day I wanted to cry so bad I took an uber and I went to a Danun Danun hospital that side and then I got a shock of my life um, there was a queue mind you also there's a queue also inside got to that hospital and yeah i sat there until late um i remember i left level five i got there in the morning but i left the place at five mind you i didn't even see the doctor because the doctors were understaffed so okay i was like okay Plus also, it was my day off. The next day I needed to go back to work. So I was like, okay, fine. Um, I'll take some meds for the pain. And then I kept, I carry on to business. I continued to do my business, went back to the gym, worked out, did my thing, put in my foot forward, gymming, going to work. And then because of that, it done, I ended up pushing it off. I ended up not going to the doctor anymore because I was really tired of going to a doctor that's full it done. I don't even know what I'm going to see them. There's a lot of patients there. Nabuba, but healing a and everything. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do this. So, and then I waited it out. I sat with that pain for a good five months. Back problem, abdomen area pain, painful. For good five months. And I mean, I was ignorant. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to Joburg. I'm going to Joburg in July. I'll wait it out. Okay, the next day comes. I eventually go to the doctor, Lua City Kloof. He does a checkup on me. I get there. Okay, so I get there at Bara, at the Plouf, I mean, um, to this private doctor, and then he checks me, and then he's like, "What's wrong?" And then for me, I was doing my own research now about this problem that I'm having. So I mean, now here I am. I sit in the doctor's room, and I tell him, "Hi, hey man. There's something I don't get here. Um, I'm having a back problem." and i think it's um goldstone in goldstone or something and then he's like what and then i'm like yes and then he's like he laughs a bit and then he says if it was that problem that you're having if you got to go on my goldstone you wouldn't be sitting here and then i was like ah why are you saying that 
and then he says okay you know what backtrack okay and then I'm like oh okay backtrack and then he asks me um, tell me where's your problem what where's the back uh, pain that you're having sharp pain on my lower back and also my abdomen area is also painful and then he asks me um, about my cycle and then I tell him about my cycle um, I have irregular periods I go for seven days full and my period is also heavy and then he asks me when I go to the ladies to pee do I have any pain and I'm like no I don't have any pain it's just the back problem and my abdomen area and then he's like oh okay um, I'm not gonna say what's going on but can you lie on the bed and I'm like oh, okay mind you this is a man and then I see e -E -E scanner and then I'm like uh, is this man gonna want me to pull my pants down so he can do all these things anyways but he didn't so um, he does a scanner on my stomach on my he checked my my ovaries and stuff and then he found that would take cysts on my ovaries and then when I was like shocked um yeah he was like you've got some cysts that are growing on your um on your ovaries and stuff and then i was like i'm a cyst and then he could see that he could say i don't understand what does it mean i'm a cyst and then he's like we're not sure what they are but we need to um uh, do an appointment to, to, to see a gynae at a hospital um, yeah and so finding out those news I mean I took them as with no man it's just something that's gonna pass but then my senses came back to me saying with hi man I'm a cyst isn't it something that also ends up being I'm a five boats and now I was like no 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 I then I got that shock um with he I have those and then he sat me down and spoke to me and told me would he um he asked me would he do you have a kid and stuff and then I told him would you know I don't have a child um I'm still a virgin as this present day and he was like yeah your your abnormal periods are not supposed to you're not supposed to be going full seven days and a heavy period and those back problems that you're having um, and cramping also um, a lot on your period is not good that's a sign of e endometriosis, and then I was like, okay. So he ended up writing a letter for me, so I can go and see a doctor, um, a, a gynae. So I get that letter um, for getting. Um, a full check from a gynae so I don't know where I was guys so yeah I get to the gynae and no I didn't go to the gynae so he writes me um, an appointment what's his name I forgot what do they use what term do they use for that but yeah he writes me a referral yes they call it a referral he writes me a referral letter writing Wuti he sees um, I'm assist I've got about eight yeah um, I've got about eight of them 
there was one that was really big um, I would say it was big I told him where I stay and then he wrote me a referral to go and see La E Bar and then um, the next morning I left his practice and then he gave me some meds as well so for the pain and everything and then I took those um, um, I remember there was some painkillers in there and there was this other tablet which was for hydration and stuff but anyways so yeah we got we I took all the meds and stuff that he prescribed for me and Friday yeah, corner I went to a, a bar I went to the gyne part of a bar and then the doctors that came I remember I was very early because I know a bar there's a queue also so I went to a bar and then they took my referral letter and then they saw Wuti okay they just wrote on the corner Wuti um cold case um they're gonna do e appointment for me um since i was there in july they were gonna book me for i think if i'm not mistaken it was october yeah when yeah i know i came in july they're gonna do an appointment for me to see a gynae in october yeah so and then I told them I was like I don't live here that was back in 2022 I told them Uti, I don't live here I've moved so can I get at least can I just take this letter and find a hospital a public hospital in Cape Town and then they told me Uti, yeah there's one in Thank God they didn't say the dead one. They told me one that's close to AVA Waterfront. Uh, that's the big hospital in Cape Town there. So, and then I was like, oh, okay, cool, thanks. I'll do that. And then I remember I told my parents, but and Tena and stuff. So I ended up flying back to, to Cape Town. I couldn't take my car because of all other stuff as well so i ended up flying back okay i flew back i was still on my leave so i was like you know what let me just uh then my pains were still there i was taking the meds and stuff that they gave me here in Joburg. here in Joburg, and then i kept taking those pills um the pain was still there i remember when i went on monday um, the day after I landed I remember I landed in Sunday Ew, which was late but yeah let me go I took that referral letter that I got from the doctor in Joburg and took it to the hospital in Cape Town okay I go into a Cape Town and they do the whole thing I meet the, I meet this lady she's pregnant um, I meet her and then she's like okay what are you here you know how it goes they'll greet you and then they'll say how are you doing today and then why are you here so I gave her the letter and then she says oh okay oh they say they see some cysts blah 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 okay and then it, she says the same thing as well lay on the bed let's see and then I lay on the bed <laughs> another thing she says put your pants down <laughs> she said pull your pants down and be naked on the bed and then I was like okay they didn't do this in Joburg now why do I have to be naked and sleep on this bed and me being icky and stuff I was like yeah okay okay i do the whole thing and i undress and i my pants only i undress and then i lay on the bed and then she checks me she does the whole like a pregnant thing she scans my 
abdomen area. She checks my my she checks that she checks and scans everything and then she says she doesn't see anything and then when I'm like okay I went to my doctor in Joburg and then she says one of my sister and stuff I ate and you say you're not seeing anything and then I was like okay but then what's with the pains that I'm having she couldn't explain to why I'm having those problems and then she was like but you're young back then I was like 27 when I first found out that I've got endometriosis and then I was like okay since you're saying I don't have any problem then let me go home and then she was like oh, okay since it seemed like you're not satisfied let us check underneath she wanted to put e that whole long thing into my vagina and then I was like oh she was like why and then I was told her I was like no I'm still a virgin you cannot do that and then she was like Oh, sorry, sorry, thank God that you told me because she was getting ready, putting condom and stuff in this thing. And then I was like, ay, 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 what are you doing now? She was like, no, why? And then I was like, no, 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 I'm still a virgin. Why do you want to do that? And then she says, oh, okay, thank God you told me. And I was like, you were actually going to do it if I didn't say I think in them throw it off of velocity. 27 still a virgin no ways and then she was like let's do it but yeah so yeah so that whole thing happened back then two years ago and then we back at it again um i found out again Uti, i am having the same situation only this time I picked it up early not that it's helping because um, I got another referral um, I went to the same place that I went to two years ago um, only this time they did do a booking for me mind you it's in July of July yeah the 5th of July because I went there March the 5th which was Monday Tuesday actually so yeah they gave me a referral Uti, for me to go back to go and check even right now as I'm sitting right here I have have the most painful pains on my lower back and my pelvis area and I'm taking meds because of the pain and another thing that worries me me and my mom a lot Uta Mona end up being addicted to these painkillers because of his pain that a shitty pain that I'm having um, so yeah that's what's been happening um i've got endometriosis i know some people are going to say what's endometriosis um endometriosis is when when a woman goes into this period cycle is where we sh we break down um our cell i don't know what do, terms do they call it so basically when I bleed that whole blood that's supposed to be coming out from where the ovaries carry the eggs so obviously the blood comes out and it has to come out of my body but with me my blood is not necessarily coming out properly is getting stuck on the 
some areas of my ovaries and the top places on my bladder and stuff so some cells are sticking on to my ovaries and some parts so it's sticking together name with my ovaries so it's that's why I'm getting all this dim discomfort and stuff on my back and my abdomen but as a woman I'm not supposed to be going through that um, but they do also say it goes with your family history um, if someone in your family had it it does get passed down to generation to generation but yeah plus another thing is due to um, not having kids not giving birth um, yeah so that's what's been going on excuse me with me lately and yeah I'm just gonna link some of those things that's been happening about this thing of e endometriosis um, yeah my health is not okay my mental health is also on the rocky side and yeah hence also why I am like this it's because of the endometriosis plus also I'm also on my period that doesn't help also so whenever I'm on my period my tummy would be like this when I'm off my period my tummy would be like this it's because of the endometriosis and yeah the story of my life and yeah when I'm busy also doing research of this thing it's quite scary um, because you're also scared of the unknown um, because there's some parts where it says when I was checking um, it says I might have some problems with fertility with giving birth or having a kid uh, yeah and your oh. private gyne is expensive guys mm. it was gonna cost me around 3.5 to go the private route because I really want to get this over with but then again they are going to be coming back um, it's not like it's going to be forever gone but due to Uti I get periods regularly every month even though sometimes they take longer but again when I got to a better and then they told me you you're gonna have to wait for July sticking with this pain for another day what the heck what more months yeah being a woman is hard guys being a woman is hard And then another thing you keep thinking for me personally, you're like thinking would you have kept yourself pure all this while and then this just happens. And then you think to yourself, what was the point? You just think about what's the point of waiting? 
obviously you've got a problem with your duction system and it's not nice it's not nice at all I've cried enough I'm not even gonna cry on the camera and stuff because yay some of you guys are really mean and yeah and also another thing I turned 30 enough about all these sad stuff but yeah I turned 30 uh, on Monday this past Monday it's Saturday today Saturday the 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 sixteenth. So yeah, five days ago, yeah, five days ago I turned thirty. It was my birthday on Monday, and I also cut my hair. <laughs> yes, I cut my hair. I did I'm just not going to show you but yeah I cut my hair it's not pretty in here so I need to dye my hair and then I'll show you um, I don't like my natural color it's just couldn't do off couldn't do off but yeah I it was my birthday on Monday um, what did I do nothing I don't want to dampen this mood anymore but yeah so that's my life update um, of what's been going on but we'll try and go back to the regular programming and stuff I just need to like sit down think re-stretch it down re-stretch it jazz right my content so I'm gonna sit down use this notepad and write out all the stuff that I really want to do and there's some couple of things that I've been shooting this week so just know what I'm brewing some content guys I'm brewing it so I hope you guys enjoyed I know it's on a somber note but I hope you guys liked the channel and sorry that I couldn't um, inform you more on this uh, subject of endometriosis but I'll try and post those stuff about those informations about endometriosis but yeah I hope you guys get to like and subscribe and stay I'll see you guys bye <laughs>